This video is about mitigating compacted soil. If you exist, you're going to come across some compacted soil at some point. If you have the option to, prevention is much easier than mitigation. So avoiding walking on soil when it's wet, putting down pavers or some kind of path so that you can limit your walking to a specific area or you could create a thick buffer layer of wood chips or some other type of mulch that will absorb more of the load. But chances are your soil is already compacted. What can you do? If you're working near trees, you're limited in what you can use. You can't bring in machinery and tear through the entire root system just to decompact the soil. There's gonna be far worse damages than that. I'll go over a couple of approaches and their efficacy. The first one is vertical mulching. This is where you dig vertical holes that are spaced at regular intervals and you can put in some compost or some loosened soil back in the hole. Because it really only decompacts the holes that you dig out, it doesn't really address the compacted soil beyond that hole, so it's not all that effective. There's another option called radial trenching where you can start digging a little ways away from the trunk and you dig multiple trenches that radiate out from the trunk. Um, you are covering a larger area and you are decompacting these areas where roots can then grow into with less resistance. But again, you have all of this other compacted soil around it. Another option is to loosen the upper couple of inches of soil. And you can use an air spade to do this by plunging it right at the surface and the air will loosen just the surface layer. You can also at the same time throw some amendments down like if you need it to adjust your pH or something, and as you're plunging at the surface, those will get incorporated as you're doing that. A lot of these options are going to involve the use of a air excavation device because generally it's less damaging to tree roots. So an air excavation device is a tool that uses compressed air to blow soil out so it can avoid damaging even small roots. The root hairs, which are the ones that are really, really small and you probably can't see, those will be damaged, but they can also grow back. You'll hear this device called an uh, air knife or an air spade, depending on what brand you purchase. Ideally, those methods should be combined with adding a thick layer of mulch because there is no point in loosening the soil and not protecting it with a buffer layer. It's just going to recompact really quickly. An inexpensive way of mitigating soil compaction that takes a lot longer is to just put a nice layer of wood chips over the ground. It should be thick, somewhere from four to six inches thick when it's applied because it will settle and compact over time. And you also want some longevity so you're not doing it over and over. It traps moisture in the soil and keeps it cool. So you have more organisms like worms that will help you do some of that soil decompaction. It also acts as a buffer layer from additional traffic and it protects the soil from being splashed around by rain or irrigation. This is a long-term process, but it has so many benefits that it's a good practice to put wood chips over any bare soil that you might have. An air excavation device can also be used to do a root crown excavation in situations where extra soil has been added around the trunk so that you can expose the original root flare and take a look at it. It can also be used in exploratory trenching before construction occurs. So if a client wants to build a house or a pool within a certain distance from a tree, you could dig a trench down to two or three feet, however deep they're going so that you can take a look at the roots that are growing in that area. If there are large roots, the design may have to be changed or it gives you evidence that those trees have to be removed if the project's going to be built the way that it's currently designed. The air excavation device is useful because you can look at those roots in an undamaged condition and potentially selectively remove the ones that are in the way while keeping the rest. If the trenching is done with a trenching machine or an excavator, it's harder to be cautious around the roots and more roots will be damaged in the process. If tree roots are starting to damage a structure, this is also another way of exposing those roots carefully so that they can be cut and the root barrier installed. 
As an alternative to air excavation devices, you could also use a hydro vac, which is not as available to arborists. This tool uses water to remove soil, and the slurry of water and soil is pumped into the truck. It can't be reused, so you have to bring in soil from outside the site.